día se ve, oh. Ese boom, 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 no vuelve para se ve, oh. Boom, 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 no vuelve día se ve, oh. Ese boom, 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 no vuelve para se ve, oh. Some metals can react with water, acid, or oxygen. The word equation for metals reacting with water is metal plus water produces metal hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. The reactivity series is a list of metals starting with the most reactive metal to the least reactive metal. Magnesium and above react with water. So how do we identify the products produced? The metal hydroxide will turn universal indicator, blue or purple. And the test for hydrogen is, it burns with a pop. So we have to be able to write the word equations and then the chemical equations for metal plus water. Metal plus water reacts to produce a metal hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Let's use an example. Let's do calcium plus water would react to produce calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. We then have to be able to write the chemical equation using the chemical symbols for the correct formula. And I have put a little link in here for the videos that I would like you to watch to be able to change from word equations into chemical equations. And you can also go on to do balanced chemical equations. Magnesium and above in the reactivity series react with water. Remember, metal plus water produces metal hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. A way to remember this is a little story, my lovely chemistry. Magnesium and above react with water, lead and above react with acids, and copper and above will react with oxygen. <laughs>